Now, perhaps we've carried out an experiment, we've taken some data and we've plotted it on a graph like this. So plenty of data points and a beautiful straight line that goes through it. Now, what we know about this line is that it has the formula y is equal to mx plus c. Hopefully you can just about see that. So we have m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. And in order to work out the gradient, this is a method that you should use. First of all, uh, we want to find out uh, basically the, the, the gradient of this line here. Now, if you use maybe a small read-off, maybe uh, you look at this value to this value, uh, you maybe draw a triangle, and then you use these values here to find out the gradient, that isn't good enough, okay? That's not the best way to do it. What you want to think about is taking a very large uh, section of data. So I'm going to draw this line, uh, well, it doesn't really matter where, so let's say along here. Okay, and I'm just going to go up to the line of best fit. Now, the important thing is I'm not drawing to a data point. What I'm doing is I'm drawing up to where my line of best fit is. Actually, I made a bit of a mistake. That, that line is rubbish. Let me just get rid of that. There we go, that's a bit better. So now I've got uh, a large triangle drawn which is greater than half the length of this line. What I can then do is look at the change in y value and the change in x value. So first of all, my change in y value, uh, it starts off at a value of 13.2 and it ends at a value of uh, 1.0. And therefore my change in y value is equal to 12.2. Uh, and the units for that are meters. So I'm just going to put uh, meters there just to the side. If we look at the change in x value, uh, the change in x value is going to be equal to this value up here, which is 62.5, minus this value down here. Now, uh, if I just have a look at that, then this is the value of 8.5. Now, this means my change in x value is equal to 54.0. And again, the units for that are seconds. In order to work out my gradient m, is equal to the change in uh, y by the change in x. Uh, and this is just equal to 12.2 uh, over, and now quite a smudged, 54.0. If I put that into my calculator, I find that the gradient is, is equal to a value of 0 0.226. Okay, so I've just left that to three significant figures at the moment. Now, um, the other thing about this is that uh, because we've got uh, real units here, what we're looking at is a dis uh, distance in meters over time in seconds, and therefore the units for this gradient, because gradients do have units as well, are meters per second. Okay, so maybe this is an acceleration that we found out. What about the y-intercept? So we've basically worked out our value of m up here. What I'd like to do next is find the y-intercept, which is c. Now, a lot of the time, uh, we can just sort of read this off the axis, but not in this case, okay? This value down here, which is about uh, 0 0.2 is not equal to the y-intercept. It's just where this line goes to the y-axis, but the, the value for the y-intercept c is when x is equal to zero. And at this point here, because I started labeling at five, uh, this value here is not the y-intercept. So how do we find it out? What we can do is we can think about rearranging this equation here. We know that c is equal to y minus mx. Now what we can then do is we can use our value of the gradient m that we found over here and then we can take another point which is on the line for the values of y and x. So let's take, uh, let's say maybe this point down here. Now again I'm taking the point on the line not the actual plotted value. So the point on the line has an x value of 20 and the y value is equal to uh, 3.6. If I put these numbers in using this uh, calculated gradient here, it then says that c is equal to uh, 3.6 minus a value of 20 multiplied by 0 0.226. Okay, so this is my y minus m times x, or m times x, uh, and therefore the value of c is equal to minus 0 0.919. Okay, and actually the value I used for my gradient wasn't the, maybe the, the value I wrote down here, but the actual number stored on my calculator, so I didn't round down too early. So that means this line here has a value of basically uh, y is equal to a value of 0.226x minus 0.919. And that is now using our values for m and c that we found from this data. 
So I hope that helps. Uh, what you've got to remember is that for a straight line, y equals mx plus c. You can work out the gradient by using a large triangle to work out uh, this value here. And then if you can't read the value of c off directly, you need to substitute these values back into that using um, a point from the line of best fit and your calculated gradient. And that will then give you your value of your y-intercept where x is equal to zero. Okay, hope that helps. Thank you very much.